It's Python or hardware. Is that the little song? Okay. Yeah, Python. Okay. okay, this week, um, first up, we're going to just talk about some Circuit Python 9 updates and more. This is in our newsletter. You can get it on adafruitdaily.com. You do not need to even sign up. You can get an RSS feed. You can um, we don't do any tracking. We make it so uh, it's a completely separate website than even our store, adafruitdaily.com. So. What's the latest and greatest, Lady Ada, for CircuitPython 9 that you want to mention? Well, the stuff in 9 that's really cool is um, stuff that I requested. So <laughs> um, first off, we get more USB host support. USB host is is nice because um, it allows you to plug in keyboards and mice and disk drives, and you, know, you can use them from within CircuitPython. I know that Scott's also been working a lot on uh, Wi-Fi web workflow. Um, I don't know if that's shown in here there's new um a lot of dynamic heap allocation stuff that's changed it, it's internals but it means that we can do usb host because we can allocate uh, memory a lot easier um jepler has been working on jpeg decoding support natively so you can draw jpegs using display io which is great because for the larger quality of screens the screens are so big that the bitmap files are just like junky they take up like all the disk space and so we need to have compressed files um and jpegs or and very easy to decompress and well supported standard. So we're gonna do that. A couple other details there, like little SynthIO, MDNS, I2S um updates, but those are the things that I'm kind of most excited about. Yeah. And then thing um this is kind of like bonus edition. So in addition to all of the um projects and more, um we'll cover this um this book in our well, we'll product section. Um, we do, you know, extend out so all flavors of Python and also scripting languages on microcontrollers and Raspberry Pi, um, which has a ton of Python stuff going on, of course, because it's a Linux computer, um, and just regular old Python resources. So if you're interested in you know, one of the more popular programming languages and all the things you can do with it, do check it out. Um, we like to keep track of the things that people are building with open source hardware. Um, we like it, of course, when there are things that people can learn from, and we like building some of those things. So um, we have some good news. Our camera, the open source Python powered camera. This isn't a Python 9. This is a 9. That's another thing that 9 added support for. Yes. So start a Python 9. You can use a camera. Um, this is our 3D rendering that, that we made. It's beautiful. Um, one of the things that we do is there's lots of ways to say you're open source, so lots of ways to use the word open, but da, 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 da. it's uh it's here. So I type camera. There's camera, there's camera like sensors, but we think this is one of the only open complete cameras that you can take a photo with. Yeah. Um, so it is now open hardware certified, certification date December 19th. Um, yeah. Uh, right now we are, uh, I'm going to type Adafruit. I think we are up to 700 and something, 723 projects. Um, so yeah, can you click on certification date to certification sort? Certification date? Yeah. Cause then we sort by like the latest there uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the latest boards are in. Yeah. So the host feather wing. So we're keeping up with our latest design suit. So 723. Um, and if you look at the total number. It's 2,616. So we're pretty proud of the fact that we've been able to keep up with uh, doing these certifications because it's important to us for you to have the files, the source code, and all these things. And this is, you could say it, but this is this is just one of the ways that you can send the signal that this is really important. So thanks to um, the folks at Oshawa who maintain this. And uh, thanks for the community that encourages us to do open source hardware. I like that there's like not, it's not just US, there's like Canada and yeah. Germany and Spain. That's kind of nice. Yep. Okay, let's uh, remind folks, it shows up every week. Hate for daily. Let's read the newsletter. Okay, 